Can cereal help you fall asleep faster? YouTube, today we are looking at Sweet Dream Cereal, part of your healthy sleep routine. A cereal that's supposed to help promote sleep and give you better sleep, I guess, is what this is supposed to be. So there's two different flavors. We have Blueberry Midnight and Honeymoon Glow. And just straight off, don't look at these as a healthy cereal because really when you look at the nutrition on these, it's not much different than say, our Minecraft Frosted Flakes. 230 calories here, 150 calories over here. Total fat, 4.5 4, 4 grams, zero grams over here. Um, sodium, 190, where it's 180 over here. 16 grams of sugar over here and 15 grams of sugar over here. So less sugar in this one. Where it makes up for it is in the vitamins and minerals in here. Yes, you get more, but you're, you know, there's better ways to get those vitamins and minerals without all the extra calories and sugars. But if you are a fan of cereal, and I am, I usually do eat a bowl of cereal late at night, not late at night, before I go to bed, and it's probably like a sugary cereal. So these ones are more aimed at with these, it says it has made with whole grains, supports natural melatonin production with zinc, folic acid, and B vitamins. So it's supposed to help produce things in your body that make you fall asleep faster. And on the back, they have instructions. Step one, relax with a bowl of sweet dream cereal, okay? Keep a set bedtime for regularity. Switch off devices an hour before you sleep is step three. Step four is save 30 minutes for winding down. And step five, try meditation. Meditation or breathing techniques. Okay, I mean, I think you could do all those step two through five and probably get a better night's sleep without the cereal. The thing they don't really specify in here, because if you follow the steps, relax with the bowl of cereal. Okay, I have that. Keep a set bedtime. I typically go to bed at like, say, 10 o'clock at night. Switch off devices an hour before I go to sleep. So I would switch off all devices and everything at nine o'clock. Save 30 minutes for winding down. I don't, so am I switching off everything at nine o'clock? 9.30, I'm winding down and then try some meditation. So when am I having the bowl of cereal at like eight, 8.30? I don't know. I did it last night, uh, about an hour or so before I went to bed. And for me, I typically fall asleep fairly quickly anyways, 15, 20 minutes. And so that stayed the same, bedtime stayed the same. Um, I didn't, I don't ever switch devices off. I usually switch it off like immediately. 9.59, I'm on my phone, boom, turn it off. So that, none of that changed. I don't feel like I fell asleep any faster, but I felt like I, maybe I got a better night's sleep because typically I wake up several times throughout the night, look at the clock, see what time it is. I didn't wake up, I went to bed at 10 o'clock, I didn't wake up the first time till like 4.45 in the morning. So that's pretty good for me. So did it have anything to do with the cereal? I don't know. And maybe some of the effects you'd feel from it, you would be more, the more you have it. If you have any experience with these, leave it down in the comments below. Let me know what it's done for you. Have you seen any changes in your sleep patterns? Now on to the taste of these. And I have a couple little plates. Just because I'm using plates, obviously I'm not gonna have it right now because I had it last night. I just wanna show you it so you have you can see it a little better on the plates. Okay, so we have the Honey Moon Glow over here and Blueberry Midnight on this side. Very similar in everything except for those dried blueberry pieces. Other than that, pretty identical. Um, Taste-wise, Honey Moon Glow, and you wouldn't know unless you actually went through the ingredients. And there is blueberry in, it says blueberry and carrot concentrates for color. But when you eat this, it has a blueberry taste to it. More blueberry taste to me than the honey moon glow. I mean the honey taste. So it does have a blueberry taste to it, even though there is no pieces of dried blueberry. Well, if you look at some of these little if you can see in there, there is little, it's a little purple inside. So I think there are some tiny little pieces of blueberry in this. But again, when you read the ingredients, it says blueberry, 
Blueberry and carrot concentrates for color, not for taste. But you definitely get a blueberry taste from this. I'm not the biggest blueberry fan, so I didn't like it at first. But as you, you know, you taste that right away, then as you continue to eat the bowl, it's it, that you don't notice it as much. So if I had a favorite between the two, it's definitely this one. Now over here to this one, the Blueberry Midnight tastes less blueberry tasting than this one, but it has more of a floral type taste. It's a weird taste to it. I didn't care for this one so much because of that taste, but mainly because of these dried blueberries. And the reason is those dried blueberries don't give off any taste. When you're eating those, I don't taste anything with those. The cereal is really crunchy, but then you get to these pieces and they're soft and really chewy, almost like the texture of say like a caramel. Like if you're eating a crunchy cereal and all of a sudden you get a caramel and you're just chewing away at it, that's what you get when you get to those dried blueberries. It's just weird, weird texture difference and they gave off no difference in taste. So I found myself as I got through the bowl, just kind of scooping those to the side because I didn't want to eat those anymore because it was just really weird. So if I had to choose one, I was just going to buy one of these. It'd be the Honeymoon Glow. You still get the blueberry taste in it without those. And it's a decent cereal, definitely a crunchy cereal. But leave in the comments below if you've tried either of these, which one is your favorite? What were you picking up in the taste? And were you experiencing what I was with these dry blueberries where they're just too chewy? Like it, it was just a weird combination of textures in that bowl of cereal. So there you go, Sweet Dreams. Again, like I said, I've only had it one night. So I really can't come out and say, yes, this does help promote sleep. I mean, was it just a placebo effect? Like, I'm like, well, I feel like I didn't wake up as much. It must be the cereal. I don't know. As time goes on, it would, uh, I, I'd know more, you know, if I see some changes, feel some changes. But you know, it's not something that, it's for something for a box. If you have problems sleeping, try it out. Maybe it'll help you. It's probably gonna affect everyone differently. Just depends on how your body reacts to some of these things. So it's definitely something worth trying out if you have sleep issues. There you go, Sweet Dream Cereal. If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video.